and A. So your palms facing forward, deep breath in, and out. And once more in, and out. As you inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, lower the arms up. Inhale, rise the arms up. And exhale, the arms and once more, inhale, rise up. And exhale. We'll reach your arms up. Enjoying our Drew Yoga sequence today. Low and with the movement. So the right arm stays up, the left arm comes around the back of the body, twisting the body navel. And then bring the hand back up. Then the other arm behind, following with the gaze of the upper legs. And rising back up. So if you've got uncontrolled high blood pressure or any heart issues, it's probably best to have your arms at shoulder height instead. Or if your arms begin to ache, maybe here or even down. So you're still doing the circles, but the arm is either at shoulder height or the arm could be lower down if you want a circle and then another circle. Otherwise, arms up, reaching. And last one, reach. And a release, rolling out through your shoulders. Wonderful. Turn, reach your palms forward and turn both palms to face you. Turn your left palm to face you and the right palm to face you. Away. Your feet either together or hip distance apart here, lifting open through the crown of the head, and then twisting to the direction of the, of the left, rather which is the palm facing you, and then coming back to centre. Switch palms, so left palm facing away, right palm facing you. And then twisting to the right, follow the gaze, and then back to centre. Right arm palm facing me, left hand palm facing you, and then twisting behind, and back to center. And once you're switching, twisting, and back to center, and release. Roll out to your shoulders. Taking the feet wider than hip distance apart and bending the knees slightly. So making sure the knees don't come too much over the toes, sitting down, so there's no um, straining through your knees. So you're sitting down on an invisible chair. Take your arms out in front and bend the elbows slightly. And then from here, inhale as you open the arms up and exhale as you draw the arms back towards each other. When you draw the arms back towards each other, leaving a gap about a kind of foot from distance. Inhale, reaching away. And exhale, release. As you reach the arms away, straighten through the legs. As you bring the hands back towards each other, bend the knees. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. And a release. Straightening through the legs. Coming into warrior legs, so right foot forward, left foot back, and bend your front knee. Just make sure the knee doesn't go over the toes. If you need more stretch, more challenge, you can just bring up the knee a bit more forward. Wonderful. One hand, so let's have the right hand palm facing away from you, reaching forward. And the other hand, palm facing up, and draw the elbow in towards you. So twisting in the direction of the bent elbow. And then coming back to center, switching hands. So the right hand turns palm facing away from you, the other one palm facing up. So the left hand palm facing up, twisting to the left. Draw the right hand in, extend the left hand out. Palm, so the one hand which goes out, palm faces away. The hand which comes in, the elbow draws in, your palm is facing upwards. So the hand which is out, the palm is facing away, 
the hand that is pulled in, the elbow is bending with palms facing up. So inhaling. And exhaling. Elbow that bends, palms facing up, the other hand, palm facing up. Inhaling. And exhaling. Left hand forward, palm face away, right hand, elbow joins in, palm face back. And once more. Just move the arms if you can't quite grasp the hand position. And a releasing, switching legs. So left foot forward and right foot back. So the heels drop down and the front knee extends. It's our warrior one leg. Okay, that's left hand palm facing away, arm stretched out. Right hand elbow drawn in and palm facing back. Twist to the right. Inhale as you switch, left hand, sorry, right hand forward, left elbow back, palm facing back. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Arm to set the front, palm facing away, other hand, palm facing upwards. Twice more. Inhaling. Exhaling. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. And release the arm. Bring the leg in, giving the leg the little shift. Okay, let's take our left foot forward, bend the knee, right foot out to the side. So it's your warrior two legs now. So the back toe, the toes are facing you. So the side of the back foot is in alignment with your mat. Bend your front knee, taking the hand to the, to the leg for balance. Inhale, you can reach the arm forward, circling the arm all the way, and exhale as you go. So remembering that particularly that back little toe, the side of the foot, press that down to engage through the leg muscles. Inhale. And exhale. So if it's too much, elbow rolls could be an alternative for you. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. If your legs get tired, as you exhale, lower the arm, just straighten the leg a little bit. Inhale. Exhaling and last one. Inhaling and exhaling. Yes, straighten that leg. Turn your palms facing up. Reach out for your fingertips. Bend your front knee. Reverse warrior. Back hand drops towards the left. Front arm reaches up. Inhaling and exhaling. Back to shoulder. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And last one. Inhale and exhale. And release the arms straight into the leg. Turn your left toes facing forward and the right toes facing the Probably the bottom of your mat, but it's pending on which way you start with. Bend your front knee. Nice engage with this back leg. Make sure all that whole of the foot is pressed down to keep that back end from seep up sometimes, and then the knee can bend, so it's pressing down, engaging through the legs, drawing the leg back. Wonderful. From here, taking the hand to the leg, back arm in and hold your knee forward. And exhale as you go. Good. Inhale, reach. And exhale. If you want to make it harder, you can always bend that knee deeper. You can come down to 90 degrees. Inhale. And exhale. Following the hand of the neck. Inhale. Exhale. And once more. 
Turn your palms facing up and reach them up to show how to bend through the front wall. Back hand dropping down to the left, and palm reaching up, gaze up towards that top hand with neck lines, and then exhale. Inhale, so stomach screaming, you're not leaning back too much. If the back aches, foot. the back foot's okay, maybe you reach back a little each time. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, turn your palms facing down, lower the arms, straight and through the leg, turn your toes facing forward. From here, bring your hands to the lower back. Inhale, as you draw the shoulders back, open up to the chest. Lift and lift and lift and lift through the crown of the head. Draw the stomach in and hinging forward. Continue to stretch right the back of the neck. You could reach your hand to your thigh if that helps. So it can make you feel more stable. You might be able to reach the hands down into the chin or to the ankles. The main thing is that you're keeping this lower back nice and long. If you've got blocks, you can place them underneath your hands here. Or hold them to a table if you want to. Deep breath in. Deep breath. Deep breath in. And deep breath in. Deep And bring your hands to your hips, bring the elbows back, bring the stomach in, and as you inhale, rise all the way back up to standing, bring the feet back together. Coming into a tree pose, taking the weight into the left foot, the right foot to the ankle, to the calf, or maybe up to the upper thigh. If you've done lots of yoga, and your balance is good. Draw the knee back. Press the foot into the leg so you've got a nice stability. From here, if you're able, bring the hands to the heart center. If you need balance, just hold on to something. Reach your arms up to the sky. And exhale back to your heart. Turn your fingertips to face me. Reach your arms forward. Turn your palms facing up. Open them out to the side. Up to the sky and hands back to the heart. Fingertips facing where you reach your arms forward. Palms facing up, out to the side. Up to the sky and back to the heart. Once more, fingertips facing me, you reach your arms forward. Palms facing up, out to the sky. Up to the sky and back to the heart. Release the leg. Release your arms. Lift the heels. Lengthen through the crown of your head, shoulders down away from the ears. If you're able to balance, you can extend your arms forward up to shoulder height. Taking the arm right to the side. Taking the gaze to right. And then release the arms back down on the head. Rise the heels. Arms to shoulder height. Arms out to the side, gaze to the left. And release the knee. Once more, each side. Lift the heels, arms up to shoulder. Out to the side. And lower down. And once more, inhaling. Arms to the side, hold the gaze. And release the Wonderful, let's come into tree on the other side. So weight into the right foot, left foot to the ankle, draw the knee out, pull the calf. If you've got more yoga experience, you're able to bring the leg up higher, but don't press into the knee. Press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Secure that balance. 
bring your hands to a heart center, shoulders back. Lift the front of the head, press down to the support of the leg. Inhale as you reach the elbows. And exhale as you bring your hands back to your heart. Turn your fingertips to face the knee. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Turn your palms facing up, arms out to the side, up to the sky, and back to the head. Fingertips to face the knee, reach the arms forward. Out to the side, up to the sky, and back to the head. Reaching forward, arms facing up, up to the sky, and back to the head. And then release the foot, lift the heels. This time, interlace your hands in front of you. Inhale as you reach the arms and legs, opening up to the chest. And exhale as you go again. From here, draw the stomach in, hinging forward from the hips as you allow the body to reach forward, the arms extending away from you, stomach to your chest. Allow to go. Deep breath in. Deep breath. Deep breath in and a deep breath. Draw the stomach in, slowly rising back up to standing and rolling out through your shoulders. Inhale in. Exhale. Let's get up bigger. Inhale, elbows lift. Excellent. Inhale, arms facing away. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And once more, inhale. And exhale. And releasing, resting in mountain pose, palms turning out. Feet firmly planted, lift the toes, spread them wide, place them back down from one to time. Engage with the buttocks slightly, lift through the crown of the head, maybe close the eyes. Take a deep breath in as you breathe in, imagine you're drawing energy from the earth up through the feet, up through the legs, to the torso, to the top of the head. And with each breath out, imagine you're breathing out any tension from the body, from the mind down. So from the head, down the neck, from the arms and the torso, down the legs, all the way to the feet, down into the earth. The lowest flow of energy in and out. In. And. Wonderful. Okay, making your way down onto the front of the body. 